So I actually wanted to to start by asking you two questions that we got from sure. you know from from our fans. Um, so one of them is from Seth Wan Boparai. He says. Uh, or he asked, sorry, how did you land those Kobe interviews back in the score days? Uh, and did you ever actually end up going to Kobe's house? So it took, I would, I showed up during media availability, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. you can speak to players after morning shoot around. So say like noon, you can speak to them at like 5.30, 90 minutes before the game. Mm -hmm. And then after the game, and some, some players like Kevin Garnett would only speak after the game. And then some players would only speak before the game unless they had a huge game. And then, they, you know, someone has a triple-double and a win, they'll, they'll talk to the media. And generally, most of the guys are available after shoot-around. Uh, but the window is like you have like five minutes before they get on the bus, go back to the hotel, they sleep or whatever, eat lunch. Right. So I showed up at some media availabilities and that's how I got Kobe and he didn't know who I was. And I'm just this fat reporter, just like asking him about bandwagon fans. And then at the yeah. end, I asked him about staying at his house. And later that day, they played the Raptors in Toronto. I asked him about posters in his room. And then I said, Hey man, uh, what's your address? He's like, you want to know my address? I'm like, yeah, cause when we get to LA. I need to get there. And he's like, it's eight yeah. out of your mind Avenue. And then after that, <laughs> I asked him, I think for his phone number, they won the game and he was mm -hmm. in a good mood and he's like, it's 1-800, never, ever, ever, ever call me. So then I yeah. saw him two, three months later at the All-Star game. And then I, in the All-Star game, there's more av availability or there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I got him like two more times. So in the span okay. of like three months, he saw me like three or four times. And nice. he goes, and then I think he realized, oh, oh this guy's just trying to have fun because, um, you know, when you go to the all-star game, people have a bunch of different features or stories they're trying to write. Right. So you're getting all kinds of different questions. And I was, mm. you know, I'm a clown and I went, you know, when it was in Houston, I went in with like a cowboy hat, this big, stupid cowboy hat. I was asking him about why things are in the bigger in the state of Texas. And then I asked him about the sensation of flying because we we're in Houston mm -hmm. and um, the NASA headquarters were, weren't too far away from downtown Houston. Um, but that's how I earned his trust. And then once a year I would go to LA when he was playing, there are a few mm -hmm. years where I didn't go because he was injured. He had a shoulder injury, mm -hmm. obviously the Achilles, he had multiple knee injury, back injury. So I missed out on interviewing Kobe a few times, but, uh, that's mm -hmm. how I, I developed the, the, um, the trust and no, I never went to his house. Oh, that's uh, unfortunate to hear, but it's nice that you kind of had that camaraderie built with him. Yeah, um, man, it was, it was, it was amazing. For sure, for sure. And it was amazing for us to see as well. Um, a lot of the great memories of Kobe we got straight from you. Um, a, a, lot, a lot of what you mentioned and, um, you know, a couple others that I'm sure fans can search up on, on YouTube as well. Uh, the second question, uh, also around Kobe Bryant, um, comes from Junaid Hussein. Uh, what was your favorite memory with Kobe? Um... And you've had a lot of them. So, I mean, I, I'm sure it's going to be a bit tough to, to, tough to choose. Probably, you know, he... Uh... After the All-Star game in Toronto, he told me we, we you know, that, that All-Star weekend was a celebration of Kobe Bryant because it was going to be his last one. It was like mm -hmm. the, his final year. And, uh, or maybe, did he retire in 17 or retired in 16? I think he retired in maybe 16. I think so as well. Uh, and um, he said, you're at the beginning, <clears throat> excuse me. He said, you're at the beginning of what you're going to be. And it hit me. It's like, no one's ever said that to me before. And I didn't really know what he meant, but just that vote of confidence coming from someone whose entire professional career has just been excellence right? and uplift, like lifting other people to share in his excellence or achieve their own excellence mm -hmm. or the pursuit of excellence. So it meant a lot. That was like a, that's a moment I cherished greatly. Just having him just as like at the end of the game, people are like leaving and just, you know, all kinds of, this is this is on the court at the Air Canada Center, right? And I was like, "Thank you, Bean. I appreciate that very much." So I saw him one more time after that, but yeah, that that's probably my fondest memory. 
That's awesome. And, you know, Kobe obviously lives in, uh, lives on in whether it be in people's memories um, through the all-star game with like the new format or it's people just shooting and yelling Kobe. Right. So um, my, my kind of final question I had for you surrounding Kobe Bryant specifically, uh, I know, again, you had a very close relationship with him. um, And I just wanted to ask, I know kind of when we first started talking about Kobe, you kind of gave him that respect and you kind of gave him that tribute uh, right there that you did. I was wondering if you'd be willing to talk about that. Oh, why? I yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For Kobe. Uh, yeah. Nice. Uh, no one's asked me that. Um, I, uh, that's just how I, I know he's above and I just, I don't know. It's just something that I do, you know, I, mm-hmm. it, it, very perceptive. Um, when I travel and I land in a plane, I always, it's two kisses to my heart. And then I point up, uh, I don't do the whole cross. I just, that's right. just my way of, of, of saying thank you to the creator and thank mm-hmm. you also uh, to Kobe Bryant. And that's me, just my gesture of respect and uh, unlimited gratitude. So that's why I do that.